life. It's time to move on. It felt good then and you think you're letting it go. But I need you to understand that you got to walk through development. Somebody say development. <laughs> development doesn't happen in a 24 hour period. Sometimes it takes years of development. Sometimes, no matter what's going on, God has told you to sit still and wait on me. I'm developing your character. I'm developing your speech. I'm developing your walk. I'm developing your presentation. But too long, and we've heard everybody say, girl, you look good. Boy, you look good. Step out and do you. I'm telling you, the time is not to do you. Selfies need to go. It's time to do God. And do God's work. Somebody say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Understand this. It wasn't long that when Samuel got to the house, he looked over every one of the boys. Every one looked greater than the next. But every time Samuel listened to the voice of God, God says, that's not it. Move on to the next level. When Samuel had looked all over the house, there was nobody in the house that could do what God had called him to do. God has a way of making a way out of no way. When you can't see it, it's all right. God sees it. When you can't find it, it's all right. God When you can't touch it,
about Saul. You can't look for another Saul. God wanted a David, not another Saul. If you understand scripture, everything that looks like is not real. You want an original. I wish I had some help. I don't want a kind of guy. I want the original. This is the original. This is the original. But they cast it down strongholds. They're casting down strongholds with wisdom, with knowledge, with life experiences. Somebody needs to understand. David could have never been if he wasn't in the field. Give him all up. Sometimes you gotta anoint them in the spite of what's going on. Come on, ladies. I'm not gonna leave you out. This is your daddy. We gotta let him know. But he was 
17, some say 16, when he was anointed the king. He was 30 before he got to the palace. During those years, he had to run for his life. Saul wanted him dead. Tried to kill him. But Saul's son, Jonathan became his best friend. His father was going to kill him, but Jonathan said, I'll keep you safe from my father. What am I telling you? Righteousness of God supersedes bloodline. Do not hear me. Do not hear me. Oh. Righteousness of God proceeds bloodline. Why is that important? Because we are all saved by the blood of God, which makes all of us related. We are all saved by the blood of God. But it's what God says that matters. Are you listening? He was 30 years old. Think about from 17 to 30. Running for his life. During that time, he had to slay a giant. Three little rocks and a slingshot. He took that giant out. He had to fight lions and tigers. Check out David's life. He was a fighter. What am I saying to you? You are a fighter. Don't give up this fight. Understand this. The battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. But you got to face every giant face every lion, face every tiger. And sometimes they'll creep up behind you. But understand this. God's armored you from the front, which means he's taking care of your back. Yeah. No weapon formed against you Woo! shall prosper. No weapon. I said no weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. I'm speaking over them. I'm speaking over them. Prophetically, why is it important? Somebody has to take authority. I'm the spiritual father, so I'm taking authority over the life. I take authority over the life. Doesn't take the place of mom and dad, but I got a spiritual covering. That these are children that belong to God. They are anointed. And because they are appointed, the enemy is going to want to take them out. It's our job, church, to pray for them. Pray for them. Cover them. As they now walk into maturity of life, you are going from here to there. 